this movie has reached so many people. Yes. Who has come back to you that perhaps you were surprised that they even knew about the it? The biggest let alone surprise inspired? was uh, at a LA Lakers Sacramento Kings game. My daughter singing the national anthem, and she's at the Boston Conservatory now. But my point is, there was a young a player that would come out two hours before the game and practice, and it was Kobe Bryant. And I noticed it was him. I said, man, I'd like to meet him, get his autograph at least. I had my son say, let's go get Kobe's there. No one's in the auditorium. They all let us. And we get up walking towards him, and security come right at us. You can't bother Mr. You know, Bryant during his warm-ups. I said, okay. And Kobe heard that, and he looks at me, and I said, hey, Kobe. I said, Rudy. I said, Rudiger? Rudy Rudiger, <laughs> he, I said, yeah. He gets real emotional, takes his basketball, walks over towards me. He says, is this your son? I said, yeah. He says, your dad's my hero. Wow. He says, when I was 16 years old, my father showed me your dad's movie when I was in Italy. He says, the only reason I'm out here is because of you. Because it reminds me of my talent that I have to keep earning it. I can't take it for granted. Wow, what a better compliment. Yeah. There is no better compliment. No, there is no than better compliment. And you, like hear, you hear that all the time, from even from Dustin Bedroyers or Roger Clements. You go on and on. And players that play in the NFL today, I guarantee you, you will have those stories. <laughs>